the Google keynote's about to start. Okay. You gonna watch? No. Why? Don't you wanna know what it's about? I know what it's about. You don't know what it's about. They're gonna tell everyone what it's about during the keynote. No, they're gonna tell everybody who wasn't on the beta what it's about. <laughs> There's no beta. Was there a beta? Did, did you get on the beta? How did you get on the beta? Why wasn't I on the beta? Good morning. Thank you for being here. Our goal is to build a personal Google for each and every user. Just like we built a Google for everyone, we want to build each user his or her own individual Google. We have invested in deep areas of computer science. Today, our knowledge graph has over 70 billion facts about people, places, and things, and, and we can answer questions based on that. Just recently, we announced our first end-to-end self-learning, deep learning machine translation systems. Rather than working at a phrase level, they take entire sentences and model sentences as outputs. And that's what you see in the middle. And you can see it is approaching human-level translation. So today, I'm very excited to introduce you to a new phone made by Google. We call it Pixel. assistant with you all through your day makes so many tasks incredibly easy. Show me my photos from last October. Take a look at these pictures from your Google Photos. The assistant can also help get information based on what's on my screen. So I'll do the same long press gesture on home and then swipe up to get contextually relevant information. So here's what just happened. The assistant recognized the restaurant in Lisa's text message and assembled all this useful information into a single card. I didn't have to say or type a single word. So there's actually an industry group, DxOMark, that rates camera quality in almost all popular DSLR and smartphone cameras on the market. We're proud to report that Pixel received a rating of 89. That's the highest rating ever for a smartphone. My favorite feature, our incredible video stabilization. It means that videos turn out smooth, even if you're not. Google Duo, our new video calling app, lets you jump into a call with just a single tap. And it comes pre-installed on Pixel. My favorite feature in Duo is called Knock Knock. It shows you a live video stream of the person calling you before you pick up. So you can see who's calling, and even what they're doing. As you can see, my son likes to have fun with this feature. Pixel is available in three colors, descriptively named, quite black, very silver, and a limited edition, really blue. <laughs> Pixel starts at $649, or $27 a month, on the Google Store here in the US. I'd like to introduce you to Daydream View. We didn't just look at the specs. We obsessed over the details of the design. We wanted to make something that's comfortable and really easy to use. And we also thought about how you could make it your own. With Daydream, you're going to be able to explore some really magical places. And what's more magical than the wizarding world of JK Rowling? I'm excited to announce that we've been working with Warner Brothers to bring an exclusive Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them experience to Daydream. With Street View and Daydream, you can visit thousands of places in 70 different countries. And we've built 150 curated tours of the world's most amazing places so you can feel what it's like to tour the Taj Mahal. Now, all of this will come together in November when Daydream View and the controller go on sale together for $79.
Today, we're excited to announce Google Wi-Fi, designed to support the new ways we use Wi-Fi. First, it's an expandable system to give you much better coverage. Unlike a single central router, Google, multiple Google Wi-Fi points work together to do a much better job of delivering fast throughput to every corner of the home. And that brings us to Google Home. We've designed a product that works in a hands-free way and makes the assistant available whenever you need it, simply by asking with your voice. OK, Google, play 80s workout music from Google Play Music. All right, here is a Google Play Music station called Headbands and Leg Warmers, 80s Workout. OK, Google, watch Stranger Things on my TV. OK, Stranger Things, playing from Netflix on Chromecast. Google Home is going to be available for $129. The Google Assistant will be our next thriving open ecosystem. When I say I need an Uber, my assistant will be able to bring Uber right into the conversation. Then Uber can say, where would you like to go? And I can respond with my destination. Uber might ask, would you like an Uber X again? And maybe I'll say, well, this time we need an Uber XL. We want to make it really easy so everyone, developers to local businesses, can create these kinds of conversations. We're deeply committed to building hardware that brings this vision to life. This is only the beginning.